Okay guys, so it's a little bit of a tight squeeze in this parking lot. We're all packed in here. But it's called El Rey Azteca Mexican Restaurant in Gallatin. And I have to say Gallatin's one of the better cities when it comes to food choices. There's where you go in, right in there. And Tammy's gonna go grab us a table. I just wanted to get the outside. Um, the only problem with this is we're right off the town square and there's a lot of traffic and you can see all the cars that are here. Um, you, there's a lot of traffic. Uh, it, it's like there's no room for growth in this city. But uh, luckily this place has been here a while and they have this, this cool building. So we're gonna go in and maybe there's a lot of room inside, I don't know. But uh, I've heard great things about this place and put it on my list. So let's go inside and then I'll make a special announcement. Okay, I totally love the decor. I love the chairs. Look at the chairs, those cool. Man, there's, it looks crowded outside, but there's nobody in here. There's a few families in here, but all the tables are empty. And then look at this beautiful chips and salsa. Nice. But yeah, so don't let the outside fool you on this place. All right, before we do anything, before I make an announcement, before I show you the menu, before I do anything, we gotta do our chips and salsa test. So are the chips warm? Yes. The chips are warm, guys. And that's nice and thick. Chunk the tomato. It's good. A little delayed. It, it kind of tastes like paste. Picante. Like but paste picante? But thick, but it's got a nice little flavor. Like okay. A little bit to it. So it tastes like it's out of a jar? No, no. No? No. So you say it tastes like paste picante, but you like paste picante. Like, so yeah, but it's got a fresh flavor. Like they make it. So. It all tastes fresh. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, you know what I think about menus. The pictures are beautiful. Really impressed with the pictures. They look good. Sure, tacos right there. They do not have burrito tacos, I checked. Look at how beautiful this menu is. You couldn't put more pictures in this. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So, There's one, the combo. once again, you can see they got tons of different, different uh, specials and burritos and burrito supreme, burrito deluxe, enchiladas, everything you want is here. Look at these combos. Look how many, wow. That's homemade Thank right you. there? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay, they brought some homemade stuff. Look at the difference. Yeah. That looks it's nice got and more dark. More onions, garlic, and more onions, more garlic, more everything. Let's see how much. How good! You can taste the jalapenos. The jalapenos. Oh, I gotta keep keep rolling on this. Is it yeah. hot? No, it's not hot. It's just jalapenos. All right, hold on. All right, guys. Look, they were so kind to bring us homemade stuff. I'm just gonna. I'll try it with uh, a spoon. Let me just try it a little bit with the spoon here. Here we go. It was a lot. Have fun with that. <laughs> really? What is it? Jalapenos, right? So I asked you guys what we're gonna do for the next food wars, and we were talking Chicago dogs, New York pizza, Philly cheesesteak, or Mexican food. We do like a Mexican food wars, and unbelievably, Mexican food one. That's right. That's why I'm announcing it at this restaurant. So we're going to be Tammy and I decided we're gonna take a few days off and go on our own Mexican food wars tour. We know a few places so far. We haven't we haven't got them all yet, but you're gonna get bonus points if if the burrito tacos are on the menu. So if they have it, it's kind of like. The, on the Barbecue Wars tour, we gave bonus points if they had beef ribs. Well, we're gonna do the burrito tacos. If it's on the menu, they get five extra points. So we're gonna be rating um, the salsa. We're gonna be rating the salsa and chips, really, chips and salsa, because the chips gotta come out warm, the salsa's gotta be good. Um, it's gonna be fun. I know a lot of my friends wanna go on this, and I'd love to take everybody if I could, but I can't, but um, we will probably be doing it January or February, okay? As we get closer, I'll make a better announcement 
and I'll let you guys know where I'm heading. We're probably gonna hit Kentucky. Uh, we're probably gonna hit down in Alabama is my favorite all-time Mexican restaurant I've ever been to. We're gonna show them some love. I didn't do a video there ever. So I wanna show you where it is. Um, they blew my mind, they were really good. So there's a lot of qualities you can look for in Mexican food. So that's what we're doing for the next Food Wars tour. It's gonna be Mexican Food Wars. And that ought to be fun. But for right now, let's continue with uh, El Rey Azteca. All right, guys, it is sizzling hot. So I get to talk while it cools. Look at that steam coming up. But look how much meat is on this. It's unbelievable. And then here's all the fixings, of course. And then I wanna talk about what Tammy ordered. What's it called? What was it? You don't know what it's called? It's like carnitas, I don't know, with vegetables or something like that. Vegetables and shrimp. Yeah. And then it's uh, queso. Right, it's queso to put over the top or dip. It and usually comes with a bed of rice. You either dip in the queso or you can pour it on the top. It usually comes with a bed of rice. She got a bed of bed, uh, lettuce, okay? And I've had that dish. That is an amazing dish, by the way. Yeah, all right. So let me... Uh, We'll try the shrimp first. Let's see how the seafood is. It looks beautiful, not too hot. Good? Alright. Very hot. Very, very hot. Okay, I'm gonna take a chance. Here we go. Piece of meat. Alright. getting a lot of seasoning. Hold on a minute. Let me try. The top. Here we go. There it is. Yeah. I grab it from the bottom. On top, it's all been seasoned really well. Tastes good. All right, so we're going to enjoy the meal, and then we'll get back to you and let you know. Okay, guys. El Rey. Azteca, I just want to say the food was good, the service was good, and the prices were good. So my lips are still burning a little bit. They, they brought us out some homemade salsa that topped the regular salsa, the regular restaurant salsa they use, and that was amazing. So they were very kind here. You can't go wrong. No one of this place is packed. So it's getting even busier right now. So anyway, I will see you guys on the next episode and uh, show them some love. Come on by. Tell them you saw it on the show, all right? And, oh, by the way, I'm giving them an A+. Oh, they got A's across the board, okay? I just want to say muchas gracias to them. Very kind people. Some of the best service I've had in a while.